In this lesson, we're going to be talking about using the Burp Suite Intruder. We've got all of these results here, and you can see there were a lot of vulnerabilities found. And again, that's not really surprising because I'm testing vulnerable web applications. These are applications that are specifically vulnerable just for these purposes of demonstration and being able to play around with them. So in order to use the intruder, I'm going to go back over to the target tab, and I'm going to find a form that I want to do some work with. Let's take a look at the login page. So right here, I'm going to right click on this here, and I'm going to send this to the intruder. And the reason I'm going to send this particular one to the intruder is because it actually has some form fields that I can actually do some work with. And the intruder is really a way of doing automated testing of form fields and different parameters. It's a way of turning these parameters and different parts of a request into variables that we can then quickly and easily insert different values into in an automated fashion. So as I said, I'm going to send this to the intruder here and you can see the intruder tab lights up. And so I can go over to the intruder tab and here's where I get all of the options for the intruder. I've got the target here, the host and the port, those are there and I could actually use HTTPS if I wanted to but I'm not going to in this case, I'm just gonna leave it just as port 80. That's the request that we were using when we came up with this particular form field. So now I've got positions and the positions is really where we get all of the action. This is where we can set variables and do lots of different things here. And the attack type actually has to do with the number of variables that you've got and the way that you wanna use them. A sniper is where I've got one parameter that I want to do some work with, and I'm going to just use a single parameter, and I'm going to repeat some values through that individual parameter. Later on, we'll be talking about doing cluster bombing attacks where I've got multiple parameters, and I want to use different values in each parameter. We're going to use this in just a minute to do some brute force password checking and I'm going to use the intruder to do that. We'll do that coming up next.